popcorn. So easy, but so difficult. So I just wanted to show people how I pop popcorn at home and how you can pop corn at home and get it all right. Okay, so to start with, gotta have the basic ingredients, simple stove top and a, a saucepan. This is a three quart saucepan. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the heat to a medium high, get the saucepan hot, and I'm going to dump in a heaping tablespoon, maybe it's more like a tablespoon and a half, of oil. Now, you can notice this is a solid right now, so it's gonna melt. You could use uh, more liquid oils, like a vegetable oil or corn oil, um, and that would be completely fine. This is actually coconut oil. I simply use it because it's a little lighter and it is a little sweeter. So you could actually make this popcorn as a sweet popcorn instead of um, the typical salt and butter popcorn. So what I, I want to clarify that why the saucepan is so important um, and the different types of kernels. So the saucepan is a three-quart saucepan with a lid because we need to cover it in order for the amount of heat to rapidly build up and to keep the kernels from popping all over you. And you'll see that happening in just a second if we don't. And the second point is uh, that there's a lot of people have these in their kitchens. So you don't need any special equipment. This is pretty standard equipment. You don't need a, one of those air poppers or anything like that. But there are some interesting things about getting the steam out, making sure your kernels are not mushy. Okay, you should be able to see now the oil is getting up to temperature. I don't take a, a measure of the temperature, but I am looking to see whether it's shimmering, and you be, can begin to see that it's smoking. So that's a good sign that it's ready. When it's ready, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour in the corn kernels. I'm just going to pour those in and keep on watching and shifting them around until they fully cover the bottom of the saucepan. Now you hear them sizzle, so now they're covered. Now, what I'm doing is I'm looking to make sure that they are evenly covered throughout the bottom of the saucepan. And as soon as they are in, I'm going to cover it with the lid. Now, there's two key things that I just did. Number one, because of the even distribution on the bottom, they will all heat correctly on the bottom. And there's just enough of the kernels in there that they will fill to the top, to the lid, of this particular size saucepan. So you need to gauge how many kernels you actually need. Obviously I didn't use all of them, but you can figure out through trial and error of how many are in there. Mine, I know, it just cover the bottom and it's the perfect amount of kernels. You know, you can hear them beginning to pop. That probably took 45 seconds. This is very quick when it happens. But what some people will do is they will shift it back and forth on the stove top to help it out. Uh, basically, it doesn't really need any intervention from you. But we do want to make sure, the ideal is to make sure that they all begin to pop simultaneously in one big rush. And we want to make sure that this is a high enough heat that they do pop it and don't burn it. If the heat were any lower than medium high, you would roast the kernel. If it was any hotter, they would pop, but they would burn. So now they're beginning to vigorously pop. This is ideal. And you, just, you can smell. You can begin to smell that they are popping. And so I turn the heat off. Once they go to vigorously popping like this, I just turn the heat off. Now they're vigorously popping. Lots of noise. And they will begin to push the lid up. In fact, there are enough kernels in there that, that they will begin to push it up. And that's the second good thing. If that doesn't happen, in this particular case, it doesn't look like it's going to happen just enough. I'm going to let the lid off just slightly to let the steam out. Now that what that does is letting the steam out is it keeps the kernels from getting moist. You want the kernels to be crisp. And you'll notice in commercial poppers that they do have this kind of lid that lets the kernels pop out once they're done. So we're basically letting that happen, but on a stove top. And now you can see that the kernels are pushing the lid up which is a good sign. It totally filled up this saucepan. Just that little bit, a little less than a half cup of kernels totally filled up the saucepan because of the volume of the popping. By the way, there are, we're gonna wait here for a second because accidents happen at this point. If you're too fast to pour the, the popcorn into your bowl, your serving bowl, you'll get an accident and it will explode on the stove top. So I'm just gonna let it sit here for a minute and tell you that there are two kernels you, this is the more the umbrella type, the ones that pop open 
in this kind of like weird alien shape. They kind of have a, the four legs on them usually. You can also get the more wider kernels and the kernels uh, that will have a, a more bulbous type pop. It depends on what you like and what your supermarket carries. Okay, so we've basically waited a minute. Now this is going to be hot. Even though it's cooked very briefly, that's hot. And that looks gorgeous there. We're just going to take and pour that finished popcorn right onto the serving bowl. And this is the, the stuff to really notice and point out to you. You'll notice that there are no burnt charcoal kernels in here, and that there's very few remaining kernels left. So not only did we achieve a, a good pop, but we didn't waste any. I see just a couple of kernels down there that didn't pop. So good, excellent. Now all you have to do is serve. I have uh, two tablespoons of melted butter. I'm just gonna pour that over the popcorn, and I'm just going to sprinkle however much salt you like to taste. So it's salt to taste. And then I'm just gonna lightly, oops, there's a couple accidents. Maybe my dog will get it. Just lightly lift the kernels through the bowl to get the butter around, and voila! You have, in about five minutes, fresh homemade popcorn. Enjoy the movie!